goss, the dirt, the trash. It's all in Amy's update. Amy and Sean, 1027 VGS. Well, Adele let something slip here in Vegas uh, Friday night, her show at Caesars. She told the fans or the, the audience that when her show wraps up here in Vegas, the top of her list is to have a baby with her boyfriend slash husband, we're not sure, Rich <laughs> Paul. And she said she wants a girl. And everyone's like, wait, wh- um, hold on. A, is your show really wrapping? Because this has got to be such money. a great yeah. gig for you. Um, you know, Friday, Saturday. Mm-hmm. That's it. Come on. Um, they've been dating for some time now. She has... Uh, an 11 year old son, Angela, with her ex husband. But yeah, she says she wants to have another baby. And maybe she will take a little break, maybe a little hiatus, and uh, do some family stuff. But I'm sure that she would be back because what a great gig. And everybody loves the show. Honest so to God. Yeah, it's pretty great. Uh, we'll see. I don't know. There's a lot of money to be made. Honestly, I think she could be playing a bigger venue. Maybe not a, as high a ticket price, mm-hmm. but if she was playing Sphere. Oh, man. This Could you I'm imagine? You know, I, because I, you and I saw the show at Caesars, and the the video and the pro, the production of it all is phenomenal. The yeah. rain and the fire and all of it the, yeah. at the Sphere. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. It would be incredible. It really would be incredible. I'm telling you, I think the Sphere's doing it all wrong. You get one head, like four or five headline performers, and every weekend, a different one rotates. And they, like, first weekend every month is Adele. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, she mm-hmm. performs. You get 18,000 people showing up for an Adele show with all of that fire to the raid. That screen know, would be I know. sick. Can you even imagine? Yeah. I felt like I was super high when I was watching the... the, oh, the Grateful Dead. Oh I saw that. Gosh. We're flying through Cornell University. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell is that? So I could barely even watch the video. I'm like, oh I'm my emotional. gosh. Yeah. yeah. Lord, <laughs> help us. Hey, J-Lo and Ben, we talked about this on Friday. There has been rumors for about a month that they're having, or maybe more than that, that there is trouble in paradise. They're getting divorced. They're not together. And then we saw that he's living at somebody else, or he's living at a separate home than she is, both in LA though. And he's coming and going by himself. She was house hunting with a friend. And uh, then on Saturday, he was seen without his wedding band. Now, guys, like, are oh, guys are forgetful, though. Guys are forgetful. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Patrick's learned his lesson. Never be forgetful. He's got rings all over the place just oh, to throw one on in case he forgets one. <laughs> pop, is it, yeah. He has one of those pop rings or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ring pops. Anything, there we go, yeah. Right. And then, uh, so everyone's like, all right, that's official. They're done, though. And then yesterday, they were seen uh, having dinner together, smiling in the car. Ben was actually smiling. I don't know if she had a, a dagger to his <laughs> spleen or what, but. Move and you're dead. Yes, yeah, smile. The Paparazzi Does the name here. Lorena mean anything Man. to you? Man. <laughs> so I, I, st- I don't know. On Friday, I was set on, wow, what is love? They're getting divorced. And now today, I'm like, well, maybe not. Maybe they're just having some issues and, and they're trying to work it out. I mean, J- we'll J-Lo has issues just for the album. Like, you know, mm. it doesn't seem like the album and tour. I know, anything. I know. So Justin Timberlake to a certain extent, too. Like, yeah. Not really setting the world on fire. Yeah, because there's just, there's some people that are top of their game right now, and those are the ones selling the big, yeah. big, big tickets. They're, they're, so. they're out of the spotlight too mm-hmm. long, maybe. Yeah, Who knows? maybe. Who knows? Uh, lastly, we got to get into all this Diddy stuff. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of kind of what has been going on. So Diddy and Cassie Ventura, they dated on and off from like 2007 to 2018, like 10 or 11 years on and off. And then recently, maybe a few months ago, six months ago, she came out and said, hey, I'm going to sue you because you, um, uh, she was allegedly saying that he allegedly her, trafficked her, uh, beat her up over the course of their their time yeah. together. Yeah. And he comes out and says, I've sat back and I have let everybody throw my name around and it's not true. Don't question my character and my judgment and my family and all these things saying none of it that she was claiming was true. Yeah. And then he paid her and then it kind of went away. Mm-hmm. Until there was video. This is CNN Breaking News. And listen, the video is sick. Don't it's watch it. It's so so there's bad. Certain, there's certain it's videos gross. you watch and you're like, why did I do that to myself? But just That's know that it's a thousand percent confirmed. This guy is at the very least a scum bucket. Scum bucket. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And that came out on Friday and everybody, it has been shared millions of times and it is disgusting. And people are coming out saying, how gross is he? 
Mm-hmm. Do you see how gross he is? So he took a couple days, and then he decided he was going to make an apology video. I'm sorry. Just wasn't enough so for me. Sorry. It's so difficult to reflect on the darkest times in your life. Sometimes you got to do that. I was f***ed up. I mean, I hit rock bottom. But I make no excuses. My behavior on that video is inexcusable. I take full responsibility for my actions in that video. Oh, that's good. (laughs) Disgusted. I was disgusted then when I did it. I'm disgusted now. Wow, that he found an AC unit to do this by. Mm-hmm. I went and I sought out professional help. I had to go into therapy. Oh, poor guy had to go to therapy. Poor guy. Oh, I'm oh, sure shucks. it's been terrible that on must have him. That so difficult. Everybody's saying, I don't know who the person is that said you should do a, an apology video. And A, again, Scumbucket didn't even apologize to her. Not once. No, not a single time. He's, like you said, sorry that we all saw the video. Exactly. There's certain things, like if you're accepting an award, you got to thank mom and dad. If you're praying at all, you got to thank Jesus. Yeah. If you hurt someone, first person you apologize to is the person you hurt. And Audrey O'Day, she came came out and said, yeah, why don't you pin that uh, I didn't do anything wrong comment right under your apology video. I Mm. like her. I hope one one of these days we're we're all going to be like, we knew it. She knew it. She's been saying it forever. Mm -hmm. What a scumbucket.